when Brian Walusimbi decided that he would dress up as a clown to entertain children with cancer, he also realized there was a lot more than just dancing for them. I saw the need. Children with so much pain, some uh, with tumors coming out of the eyes, mouth. It was so painful, so I decided to do something about it. But I decided to do something with what I had. What followed was Bless a Child Foundation, now a home for children battling cancer. As long as it's a child suffering from cancer, they are welcome in this place. Uh, and as long as a child has cancer and has need, we'll do anything possible in our power to support them. Ruth Wanyana's nine-year-old daughter has a tumor on the face. Before she knew that the child was battling cancer, she sought treatment for malaria at local clinics in Luero until it dawned on her that her child was suffering from something much worse than a disease caused by mosquitoes. When Wanyana ran out of money to treat her daughter, she approached Bless a Child Foundation. Brian Walusimbi, the proprietor of the organization, says they have touched the lives of many children. Over a thousand kids have beaten cancer and we have seen them grow. Uh, there are so many of our kids that right now are at university, uh, others are working, many are in school, back to normal life, so we are very excited to see that. Kids that had absolutely no chance. For those here, there are days that seem like they will never end. He says seeing children lose the cancer battle is the lowest point. Dr. Joyce Kambugu Balagade notes that the country has made efforts to make cancer medical care for children available even in the regional facilities. We have now a reference cancer pathology laboratory with a very wide panel of sensitive tests that can enable us to make a very accurate diagnosis. According to the World Health Organization, each year approximately 400,000 children and adolescents between the ages of 0 to 19 years old are diagnosed with cancer. The most common types of childhood cancers include leukemia, brain cancer and solid tumors. Olivia Komgisha, NTV News.